Bring my miracles today. Bring my miracles today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that where two or three come together in my name, there I am in their midst. Know that also this morning, know that Jesus Christ is here, the Holy Ghost is here, angels are here, God Almighty is here. We are in the presence of God this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. We are in the presence of God and um, we are about to sing and honor him this morning. And let us do so with the whole of our hearts in the name Amen. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are
worship you, Lord, we worship you. Madarabasya, darabaya, darabaya, iribu. Karabasu, iribu, ya daraba. Maya darabasu, darabaya, iribu. Madarabasu, iribu, ya darabaya, iribu. Kata lama sudah lama yang darat yang di makula baca cara ba, ada lama sungguh rubu yang darat ba, mari kita bersia cara ba ye, siwo sepilo, siwo sepilo, siwo sepilo, mata lama ya. Mandara basha dara baya di, mandara basu dulu buyanda, mandara basha dara baya dulu buyanda, mandara basha dara baya dara baya di, mandala basu dara baya di, mandaba dara basha dulu bu. Dara baya, Maya katara basha tora ba katara ba yele. Maya katara basu katara ba ya dulu bo ya katara ba. Katara basha katara ba. Mandara basha, mandara basu, mandara ba. Mata kipa su turu buyanda. We wanna just say Lord, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your presence. We worship and we adore you. We wanna just thank you, Lord. Mandara basu turu bu. Ya taba su tara ba ya da. Mandara basu tara ba ya da. Mandara basu tara ba ya da ya da ya da. Maya tara ba ya da ya da. Hey, 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We say, Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your love. Thank you for every wonderful thing that you have done for us. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, and all the adoration. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So this morning we have got also that privilege to be listening together to the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us listen together to this word of God this morning. Makatala Bahadaraba. Six every night. Six. The other day, oh, you find that uh, you are out. Let me read. This is actually how people backslide. How people backslide. Okay, you find that, okay, we have got a service from Monday to Friday. They say, no, I will stop. I will just attend Monday one. And attend Thursday one. And attend Friday one. Oh, before long, you say, I will attend one. Before long, they will wonder, ah, did I miss the services? What happened to me? But how did it start? It started by missing one. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Then we must monitor our Christian work. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. You must do what? You must monitor our Christian work. Don't be, be monitor your Christian work. It's easy to monitor your Christian work. If you used to pray in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and you find that, okay, you have now begin to skip the morning one, okay, already you are, you are beginning to backslide. Are you know what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. If you used to do this activity for the Lord and you find that begin to miss just one, it's a sign that in the spiritual realm you are turning backwards. It's the, it's the same thing if you want to see your progress in your Christian life. If you used to pray one time a day and you find that now you are praying twice a day, it means that spiritually you are what? You are progressing. You are growing. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, some people ask about how I want to be, I want to grow spiritually. I want to be, I want to grow spiritually. How can I grow spiritually? How can I be big spiritually? And I told them that spiritual growth is built this way. It's your life in the spirit are built out of many activities that makes you grow spiritually. There is just like a building. Let's say when you're building a house, a building and a house is made out of many bricks. But all those bricks, when you put them together, they build a big house. When you put the windows, when you put the roof, when you put the tiles, when you put the, the glasses, it makes out to become a what? A house. So it's a spiritual growth. Spiritual growth. If you want to be a, to grow spiritually, it is built out of many activities that will make you to be grow up to become a spiritual giant. Hallelujah. Amen. Then some people think that spiritual growth is made out of one activity. They think somebody can be just laid a hand and then become a spiritual giant. It does not work that way. It's the systems that you put. Then if now you have got, it's like the house. If now you take out the foundation, what's going to happen? That house is going to collapse. If you take out the window, the house is no longer complete. It's like you on your well-being as a Christian. Everything matters. Everything is important. Amen. When you want to measure how you backslide, it is how you are beginning to slacker in one activity. Amen. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Spiritual maintenance is very, very much important. Monitor yourself. 
monitor yourself. If you are saying that in the previous in the previous month, okay, I was faithful. I was being faithful to God with my tithe. And you find that, okay, this month, you, you skip. There's something wrong. You are being to backslide. Some people, they wonder where the trouble is coming. On the one step they've missed. Okay, let me tell you this. I'm going to teach you the deep principle now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you this. Let's say in this, I'm telling you now, these are the things of the spirit and it's based on the experience and our spiritual walk. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's say you put a prayer in the morning at six o'clock. On that prayer at six o'clock that you put in the morning, there will be angels that are sent us to come and join you in that prayer. God will even come to that prayer at six o'clock. It is no longer just your prayer. God is involved. The spiritual realm is involved. Angels are involved. It has become also the prayer of God. Amen. It has become a part of service unto God. Six o'clock prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In the same way, you find that the even your spiritual enemies, they even they even begin to realize, oh, you are praying at six o'clock. Sometimes they come at six o'clock to come and oppose your prayer, not on the physical. I'm talking in the spiritual realm. Are you gonna say? Amen. Because they've seen that on the six o'clock you are sending out missiles. You are destroying their things on that time of what? Of six o'clock. But the oh, no. day that you say, okay, I'm no longer praying in six o'clock. Angels are gonna come. They're not gonna. They will come and they will come to join in prayer. The God will. God will come and find that. Oh, He's not there. That means you have disappointed God by not availing yourself. Are you what I'm saying? Amen. Oh, after that, Amen. your opposition. Who it used to come, they will come at six o'clock. Mm. And this time, because you are not sending out missiles, but this time you have rested, they will attack you. Because they were supposed to be uh -huh. opposing your prayers, but now you are not doing your part. But now you are not sending out missiles. Mm. Then it is, it is dangerous to start certain activities, spiritual activities, and you just talk them like that. Hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Because when you begin to pray, when you begin to do some spiritual activities, sometimes your prayers are destroying in the spiritual realm. Your prayers are doing great things in your prayer, in your spiritual realm. And again, they are provoking where in the spiritual realm. Amen. Then when you backslide, it's like you've opened the door. It's no. like there is someone, hey, those who understand soccer, even though I'm not a soccer fan, it's like there is a certain player who is not marked. Hmm. Oh, no. But when you play your part, instead of decreasing, increase. Hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Instead of what? Of decreasing, do what? Increase. Increase. Instead of saying that I'm reducing my spiritual activities, do what? Increase. That's now we are hearing here about soul. The Bible said that God said that soul have turned away from me. Soul have not carried out my instruction. And the Bible said that the man of God tried to begin to pray for some for soul. He cried. He cried because he had realized the mistake in the spirit that soul had begun to do. Soul in his eyes he doesn't see that you have done anything wrong. He think he have done anything, everything well. But before God, he have begun to do something which is wrong unto God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the Bible say that. The Bible say that. Hey, verse number 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 15 soul answered the soldiers brought to them brought them from amalekites they 
prepare the best of the sheep and the cattle to sacrifice to the Lord your God. But we have totally destroyed the rest. Samuel said, although you were once small in your eyes, did you not become a head of the tribe of Israel? The Lord anointed you king over Israel. Then the Bible says, that's not all what he's saying here is that once a time you were once a nobody. Once a time it was God who made you to become somebody. Once upon a time you were a nobody, but it was God who lifted you up. Hmm. Now you uh -huh. have become you have become big in your eyes. Now you have begun to think high of yourself. That's why you are not taking instructions. Amen. Amen. That was the problem of who? Amen. Of soul. Amen. When he, he is being taken higher, you know, he's moving with the position. Amen. Mm. Let me tell you this. Don't, if, it doesn't matter whether you become a president tomorrow. Amen. It doesn't matter how big you must be. Don't let that that position carry you. I don't know whether you are getting it. Amen. Amen. Don't let it carry you, but it can only through the, be the help of what of the Holy Spirit, because it's a human nature that when uh, when God begin to lift you higher, when God begin to do something big, when God begin to do something wonderful, you begin to change your walk. You begin to change the way you do things. But one of the th you must never change your submissions. Hallelujah. Amen. You must never change your humility. Amen. Amen. No matter where God takes you, away, remain humble. Amen. Amen. And it is the Holy Ghost who can help us to be what? To, to be humble. humble. Otherwise, you know, it is the trap of the devil when you want to put somebody down. He attacks them with pride. Amen. Amen. The Bible said that before fall, that before fall, somebody, first of all, they became proud. Then we must we must actually beat ourselves. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. We must crucify ourselves. Can you go to the book of of the first Corinthians chapter nine? Mantra Frasia Lada Diva Zonta Rabahaya Mantra Frasia Raki Talabashian Talabaha Raki Doba Zonta Kabaha chapter 9 verse number 27 mm -hmm. no i strike a blow to my body and make it a slave so that after i have preached to others i myself will not be disqualified hmm. for the price that means what Saul is saying that he crucify his flesh he do what? He, he crucifies, crucifies his flesh so that pride may not enter him. So that after when he has preached to others and he has winged souls and he has become so great, he, God has done something big through him. And that he may do what? He may be disqualified. He may not be disqualified. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. And also us, we have to crucify our flesh. We have to wait upon the Lord. We have to depend upon God in order that even if, hey, let me tell you this, even if you are attacked, whatever attacking you must not stick. Amen. Amen. Are you getting Amen. what I'm saying? Amen. That means there must be a grace that whatever that when it is it any missile being sent to you, it must not what it must not be able to stick. It mm. must fall. Amen. 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 Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. And this is the grace that the Lord gives us when we wait upon him and he become the hedge. Amen. He become the protecting hedge that whatever the devil, when he throw a missile at you, it must do what? It must not stick. Amen. But when you backslide, whatever the devil hit you, what does it do? It sticks. Amen. Let me tell you this. Amen. I'm going to tell you just to tell you how the devil attack. 
Mm. You know, so one of the biggest weapon of the devil is sin. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. When the devil wants to put somebody down, you know, he's not going to be able to attack you first. Sometimes when the witches are looking at you, when the demons are looking at you, they don't attack you first. Sometimes what they do, they lead you to sin. They tempt you first. That when you are tempted, the head is no longer there. When they send a missile now, it can go through and hit. Because the moment when you are living a righteous life, when you are holy, when you are living a holy life, the hedge is there. The protecting hedge is what is there. Amen. And when they try to attack you, they cannot attack you because the more you live a holy life, the more you live a righteous life, the more you are obedient, the more you obey the word of God, the more you do what everything that the Lord said that you must do. The Lord is one with you, and Amen. the Lord becomes the what? The hedge. Amen. But the moment, the moment you fall into hey, you fall into sin, the hedge falls down. Amen. When the hedge falls down, when they attack, their missiles hit. Amen. Uh, Are you Amen. hearing what I'm saying? Amen. That's what the Bible said that in the book of Job chapter 1. In the book of Job chapter 1, the Bible said that when the Satan came, it came and presented himself with the angels in, in, in heaven. When God began to brag about Job, he said, have you considered my servant Job? Amen. Uh, he's blameless. He's upright. Amen. Hey, my servant Job is there is no one like him in the whole world. Say so say that. Amen. Does Job love you for nothing? Mm. Does Job honor you for nothing? You have built a hedge around him. Amen. Whenever I try to attack him, there is a hedge protecting his life, protecting his things. I cannot touch him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When you are living an obedient life, when you are living a holy life, Amen. the Lord becomes your protecting hedge. Amen. That those who are seeking you cannot find you. Those who are challenging you cannot do what cannot defeat you. Amen. But if you fall into sin, hey, the protecting hedge, it opens the hole and you begin to see the measles hitting you. Are you hear what I'm saying? Amen. If you are seeing that the measles of darkness are hitting you in a certain portion of your life, check first of all. Where am I not completely doing the instruction of God? Mm. I don't know whether you hear what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Examine yourself. Where am I? Am I backsliding? Where am I opening a gap? Where is the devil finding me? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. 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 Then if you do everything that God says you will do, the Lord will become a protecting edge. Amen. That's when the enemy try to look for you, the enemy will do what? Will not find you. Will find the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then it's very, very much important that you monitor your steps. You monitor your word obedience level. You monitor your spiritual responsibilities. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you this. You must monitor. Let me tell you. You must monitor your spiritual level. You monitor it. Hmm. Don't. Some people, they don't monitor it. They wait until they've backslidden. And now, by this time, the devil is attacking. When the devil is attacking, they wonder, hey, what is happening now? 
but mm. the problem be it not began when the devil attacked. The problem began when they stopped to do their responsibility. Amen. Let me tell you, let's say you have got a prayer at 12 o'clock midnight, right? Amen. Amen. And you begin to realize that I used to wake up at 12 and pray. I used to wake up at 12 and pray. And suddenly now, you are sleeping by that time. Hey, begin to wonder. Begin, it must worry you. It must not be normal. If hmm. now it has become a normal, I have, you wake up maybe at 1 o'clock in the midnight. And you feel like nothing is wrong. That's when something is wrong. Mm. It must burn you. Why did I miss that prayer? How mm. can I compensate? What can I do to make sure that I don't miss it? I don't. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. You know, when time when you were coming back to the midnight prayer, like this one, that one we're having now. Amen. Sometimes it will be 12 o'clock. Okay, I realize I wake up at one o'clock, even though I was praying later. Then. I said, eh, eh. I was putting in one alarm. Now, all the five phones, they must have alarms. Amen. Amen. I don't know what you're going to say. Amen. Amen. I'm making sure that I must do what? I must wake up. Amen. Because if I don't maintain my responsibility, that's where the problem starts. Amen. 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 The problem does not start when you are seeing it manifesting in your life. No. The problem it starts when you begin to lose a spiritual battle sweat in the spirit. Mm. I don't know whether you are getting that one. Amen. Amen. A battle of a Christian must be fought in the spirit. Amen. It must be dealt with it way. In the spirit. Your battleground is not the physical. Amen. Your battleground is where? Is in, in the, the spiritual. Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your battleground is where? Is in, in, in the, the spirit. spirit. In the spiritual realm, in the place of the presence of God. It's a place where you have to defeat those witches. Mm. It's the place where you have to defeat those what? Those demons. Mm. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 Fire, yeah, 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 Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Help me not to slumber. Help me not to slumber. In the name of Jesus. Help me to carry out my responsibility. Help me to carry out my responsibilities. In the spirit. In the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that the night Jesus Christ was crucified. Before he was crucified, he was arresting the staff. He told his disciples, hey, he said, I pray here with me. They must pray here. And he go yonder to pray. Mm. And the Bible said that when he come back, he find them that they were sleeping. He said, why are you asleep? They said that, hey, the spirit is willing, the, the, but the flesh is weak. And he went back and prayed, said, no, pray with me. Can't you just wait with me just for an hour? Can't you just pray just one hour only? Mm. The Bible said when he come back again, he found that they were asleep. And he woke them up and said, wake up, let us pray. Mm. And very soon, the soldiers were arriving. He said, no, when they say, want to pray again, he said, no, the time is up. It's time for action now. He said, pray so that you can, you must not fall away into, into temptation. 